in any manner they choose without consequences, without giving account to someone, governance will not work. So I ask the question again, what was the outcome of the previous cash transfer project? In fact, let's go back to the Buhari administration. What was the outcome of trader money, market money, and all of those other monies that were supposedly shared? Where are the reports to say this is the number of people that benefited? These are their addresses. These are their phone numbers. So that any Nigerian can randomly conduct a test to call, hello, bros, I heard, so is it true? You know, this is transparency. So now, for me, from a more fundamental point of view, you see, this cash transfer ideas from this administration came about because of the planlessness of the subsidy removal. There was a desperation for um, uh, uh, palliatives mm -hmm. at that time. And I had said, there is no kind of palliative that you can provide that will ameliorate the impact that subsidy removal was going to have on the people because of the way it had been done. And we can see the reality today. So because of the desire for palliatives, we said we we're going to do cash transfers. Have we done that? What has the impact been on the livelihood and the quality of life of Nigerians? Why are we talking about another cash transfer based on what social register? So for me, I would have expected that what this administration should be doing is to look at a social safety net, a proper structured social security system like we have in other parts of the country, other parts of the world. So let's have an identity management. You know, sorry for the digression. I have the manifesto of this administration right here with me. I've been pouring over it since I was told that I was going to be here. You know, it's shocking to find that I found two things. One, there was a lot of flowery language, but a deliberate avoidance of specific promises in that manifesto. The second thing that I found is that there were actually some promises, flowery as they might have been, that are not being followed. As we speak today, it's been one year. So nobody can say, oh, uh, it's early in the day. No, one year is not early. It is the morning that tells the day. So by now, we should have been seeing some of these things. Social security, social safety net was in the manifesto. There was a mention about it and that there was going to be, you know, a unification of the identity database. What has been done about that in this one year period? Because if you don't have that, then any cash transfer that you do is a fraud. You know, these are um, avenues for money sharing to the boys. I'm sorry to say. I know my friend, um, um, uh, the barrister in Kano, you know, disagrees with everything I say. But I tell you that I'm coming not from the position of somebody that wants to be a naysayer, but from somebody who knows how governance is supposed to be and what you need to do to deliver it to the people. And we are not seeing enough of that. I'm not saying everything is negative. I'm not saying everything is bad. If you search hard enough, you'll probably find one or two positives. You search hard. You have to search very hard. Okay. You will probably find a few. Everybody but I tell you that the way we are today, hard. yes, it, uh, there's too many things that have been done, you know, in a manner that could have been far better, you know, including this cash transfer that you mentioned. So if you want to do cash transfers, I think that the first step will be to account for the ones that you have done, show to Nigerians that people actually received this money, the impact it had on people, how much in total was spent, you know, and all that, and then come up with a new one. If you don't do that, there is no, I have no choice but to think that this is just um, um, uh, uh, dipping into the kitty. All right, then. Uh, Barry Sabashir, uh, coming to you and I, I hope you heard the question, but I heard you had to go off the live stream and then return. Uh, but uh, what do you think about the cash transfers, the previous ones, 75,000 naira for um, uh, some families uh, for, for three months, and then the one of about 15,000 naira for vulnerable households, and the very recent one of uh, 75 million naira to Nigerians? Well, do we have the barrister in? Because uh, it's we we can't hear anything. Well, I was hoping that we'll just switch from video calling to a, a voice calling. That way, we can hear you clearly. But if you're speaking uh, right now, we can't hear you. We'll probably have to look at that and rectify it because we desperately, I use the word loosely now, <laughs> need to hear your point of view on these issues. But while we're trying to fix, uh, rectify connection with. Uh, Barrister Bashir Badru, let's get uh, the thoughts of um, Olufemi Lawson. Same question, please. Hello. Seventy-five uh, thousand. Uh, no, 
Can you hear me, please? Okay, the barrister seems to be talking. Who am I speaking with now? The barrister? <laughs> Both of them. Is, it, is that the barrister? Yeah. Oh, this go ahead, the barrister. Yes. Go ahead, please. I, I, I did not really get your question. I just got... We're talking about cash transfers. That uh, This administration seems to have a passion for cash transfers. You know, at, at, the, at, the, at the onset of the administration, we talked about cash transfers to um, vulnerable households uh, to the tune of about 15 million. And then another 75,000 are to be given to um, families of, you know, and then, and then now we have, we're having about 75 million naira to be disbursed to Nigerians. The cash transfer seems to be one thing that this administration is interested in as against putting certain other factors in place to ensure that Nigerians as a whole receive the benefits of democracy. How do you react to the cash transfers? And this very, very recent gift, this one just dropped this morning, the uh, 75 million uh, Naira to be given to uh, Nigerians is uh, is totally useless. <laughs> uh, there is this old saying that teach me how to fish. Don't give me fish. Mm. They are giving us fish so that we can eat for today and just relax and start asking for more. That is in, uh, that is inappropriate as far as I'm concerned. But if the intention of the government with respect to this cash transfer is just to cushion the dilapidated effect of the economy on individuals well i would say maybe for now but as far as i'm concerned i do not see any merit any sensible decision with respect to this cash transfer it has not helped anyone and it will not help anyone either today or in future so the best thing to do is get uh, to locations where you think these vulnerable people reside and set up something that can generate revenue for them. Something that they can get with, they can do with their hands and make money so that they can feed themselves. They don't need your 75,000 to 